everyone, so today we are going to do a real smoky, fun party. This is something that you would wear like to a club or something where there's real dark lighting. So, this look is a lot of fun. It's something that uh, is definitely going to get you noticed. And it is perfect for a night out, perfect for, you know, going to the club. And all of the products that I'm going to use you can find on my website, beautybyviolet.com. So if you want to see how I did this real fun, smoky party look, just keep watching. So the first thing I'm going to do is apply the NARS Smudge, smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. And I'm just going to apply that to the lash line underneath and the entire lid all the way up to the brow. Now I'm going to use the Illamasqua Liquid Metal Palette and I'm going to use the um, silver right here. And I'm going to apply that just with a blending brush. You really don't need much of this. Just on the inner part of the eye, about halfway over. And then I'm just going to pick up um, just a small, this is actually a lip brush, and just put some of this underneath on the inner corner and the inner lower lash line. Okay, so now that we have our primer on and our base, I'm going to go in with the color Passionate for MAC, which is a hot pink color. And I'm just going to use a clean 217 for this. And I'm just going to apply that into the crease. So next I'm just going to use a flat stiff shader brush and I'm going to go in with a pigment from MAC and this is called Silver and that's just what it is, is a silver pigment and I'm just going to pick some up on the brush and then press it into the cap just so we don't get a whole lot of fallout and I'm going to place that over where we place that silver base and then also the inner corner and lower inner lash line. Now just pick up your 217 brush and blend out that edge just so that it's a nice kind of fade there. So there's not a harsh line. Now again just using my stiff flat shader brush I'm gonna go in with the color Cinderfella from MAC which is a black and silver sparkly color and I'm gonna place that on the outer half of the lid and just up into the crease in the corner slightly. And you can also take some of that on the tip of your brush and run it under the lower lash line. And because of all these pigments and um, all the fallout we're getting, that's why we're waiting to do the foundation until afterward. Next, just pick up your 217 brush again and we're going to blend that color into the crease. Just blend it out a little bit. Then to darken the outer corner of the eyes, I'm going to use the color Carbon from MAC and then just a stiff flat shader brush again. I'm just going to apply that to the very outer corner just to really darken that outer V. And then I'm just going to apply some just to the very outside of the lower lash line. And then just use your 217 to blend that into the crease. I'm going to pick up a pencil brush and some of that uh, pink color and put it underneath. the colors we already have there and that's just going to kind of tie in the pink on the top. Now I'm just going to pick up a shade that's close to my skin tone and then a fluffier shader brush and I'm using the color brulee just to blend out above that pink. And since we have so much sparkle going on on the lower part of the eye I'm just going to use a matte shade to highlight the brow so we don't look like a disco ball. I'm going to line the inner waterline using Black Track Fluid Line and just any black coal pencil. I'm just going to dip it in and this just makes it a little easier to line because brushes can be a little abrasive on the inner part of your eye so it can be a little uncomfortable and you can end up 
poking yourself. So this just goes on a lot smoother. And apply some to the upper lash line. And I'm just creating a little bit of a wing on the outer corner. going to take what's left on the angle liner brush and just smudge it in the lashes just to create some depth to the lashes. So now to clean up um, some of the fallout that I have here, I'm just going to pick up just a makeup remover wipe and just wipe away any of the um, pigment or dark shadow that might have fallen out. So next I'm just going to curl my lashes. I'm going to apply some mascara and I'm just using the Aqua Smoky Lash from Makeup Forever. Now I'm just going to apply some lashes and I'm going to apply the Demi uh, Wispies from Ardell. Once you have your lashes on, just crimp them together so that they blend in with your natural lashes. So moving on to the face, I'm just going to apply a foundation primer. I'm just using the Laura Mercier foundation primer. And I'm just going to apply that all over my face and this is going to help the foundation go on smoother going to fill in any pores, lines, and it also acts as a mattifier. For foundation today, I'm going to use the Pro Longwear Foundation from MAC. And I'm just going to use a uh, Sigma Kabuki brush. This is number F80. I do have a blemish and I do have some redness that's kind of peeking through in certain areas. So I'm just going to use a concealer brush and my Studio Finish Concealer from MAC and just go over those areas. And it's always best to apply your concealer after your foundation so that you're not wasting any product. And then I'm just going to use that same concealer brush just to apply some concealer underneath my eyes. And this is just the HD concealer for Makeup Forever. And this is just going to really clean up the makeup look and also brighten up that eye area. a big fluffy brush to get really close to the color just so that when it's blending it in it's blending it in very softly and not disturbing the color that I placed on the lower lash line. I'm just going to apply some NARS loose powder just in the areas that I need it. I'm going to fill in my brows and for this I'm going to use um, the usual espresso from MAC and just an angled brow brush. I'm 
For bronzer, I'm gonna use the bronzing powder from Bobbi Brown, and this one is in deep chocolate. And then I'm just gonna use a flat cheek brush, and I'm gonna chisel out my cheekbones, going at a pretty sharp angle, following the hollow of my cheeks. Um, a mixture of a couple blushes. Let's see here. I'm going to use uh, Azalea from MAC, which is, it's a really bright hot pink, kind of goes along with the eyes. And then I'm gonna use my Kabuki brush from NARS and just kind of tap that color on and smile to bring out your cheeks. Apply some of that just to the apples of your cheeks. I'm going to pick up some of the color Fleur Power and I'm going to use this and go all the way from front to back in a circular motion. And this is going to kind of blend out that azalea color and we're going to have kind of a pinkier, mauvier color towards the back. I'm going to use a highlighter and I'm just going to use um, Soft and Gentle from MAC. It's a skin finish and then a dual fiber cheek brush just to place that on the cheekbones and blend that out. So you just want to tap it on the highest part of your cheekbones and then blend it out. For the lips, I'm going to use, um, first of all, a um, waterproof lip liner pencil and aqua lip from Makeup Forever. This is number 16C. apply a lab shine and this is number D6 and it is a sparkly fuchsia color. look um, really fun this is something that's like really out there really brave I mean you could do the eyes and um, kind of tone down the lips if you want wear something nude um, but I think that it's gonna be it's a lot of fun and it's really gonna get you noticed so it's perfect for a night out if you're going to the club uh, I will put a list of all the products that I used on my blog and a link to my blog below and you can click on the link and you can see the um, product up close and a description of the product and I hope you guys have have a lot of fun recreating this look because this look is so much fun to do and I will see you soon thanks for watching I hope you subscribe